Hello, I'm Christina with The Turned Leg. I love to salvage, repurpose, and create and help others to do the same. Do you have a favorite paint finish? I mean, one that you really like? Right now, I do, and I'm gonna share it with you. What I really like about this paint finish is that if you have a beautiful piece that, you know, isn't so beautiful all over, but parts are still fabulous, you can apply it and save the good. And that's what I'm all about. Even though I paint furniture, I only paint what needs to be painted. So let me show you my favorite paint finish. Recently, I was out to pick up this beautiful buffet to save and rescue. If you want to see how I fixed all the veneer issues on this piece, feel free to click on the link above. But while I was there, they also had this cute little end table all packed up and ready for me to take if I was interested. You know I was interested, so I brought it home. This piece needed a lot of love. There was veneer missing, there was a lot of damage, and there was even some areas where the veneer was raised. But I had the perfect paint finish, and that is using a black wash. Before doing my paint finish, I had to address the top. It looks like someone had taken off the veneer, and there was a lot of damage to it. The easiest way to correct this is to use DIY paint dark and decrepit. I love to use DIY dark and decrepit for an all natural stain. It's super easy to use. For more information on how to use it as a stain, please click on the link to the video above. Now to address those drawers. And sometimes before I start, I like to do a quick cleaning to really see what I have. In order to do that, I use disinfectant wipes or you can use Dawn dish soap and water. Don't forget to remove and clean out the inside of the drawers because sometimes that's where the treasures are hiding. Now I will say what I found in this is a whole lot better than the mummified mouse I once found. Yep. Keep your eyes open and maybe clean out your pieces outside. Have you found any treasures while cleaning out drawers? If so, comment down below. The dark and decrepit had dried, but I also saw that the surface on the top was a little rough. Time to sand. I used my orbital sander and 220 grit sandpaper. It's a super sunny day as you can tell, so that's why I'm wearing my gardening hat. I like to paint outdoors whenever I can. And for this little piece, I'm going to do one of my favorite finishes, which is a black wash. And it's like you've heard of whitewash, we're doing a black wash. I'm using DIY paint. I'm gonna be mixing it with water. Usually it's about two parts water to one part paint. Although with DIY paint, which I'm using, it is so heavily pigmented, you can water it down almost 10 times and still have amazing colors. So I like to use this wash because it allows some of the wood to show through. I got my cup. I'm using a little black dress and I'm just gonna put, I'm eyeballing. It's amazing when you make a wash, you don't need much paint. And that's another good thing about using a wash. You can use a wash too to stain wood and you can use any of the colors of DIY paint. So there it is in the bottom. I'm gonna eyeball adding, but if you're doing it the first time, I recommend you might wanna do 50-50, then kind of see what you got and then take it from there. For me, two parts water, one part paint works best and then I'm gonna mix it up. It's gonna be watery. It's gonna be drippy. This is a good outdoor project, but DIY paint does clean up very easily. You want it real drippy and liquidy, and then you just get painting. If you are painting a piece with legs, a good tip is always paint it upside down first so you don't miss a spot. Are you enjoying this video? If so, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you click the bell, it will alert you for notifications every time I upload a new video. All of those things really help me to grow my channel to help others to salvage, repurpose, and create. Wash can be messy, 
make sure you shake off the extra paint or wipe it on the side of a cup. DIY paint lightens as it dries and painting outside on a super sunny day the paint is going to dry fast. If you're having problems you might want to move to painting in the shade or use a water bottle to add some moisture while you work. The first coat is dry and sometimes one coat is all you need with a black wash. I decided I wanted to even things up a bit and apply a second coat. I also added just a little bit more water to make sure I still had a wash and not black paint. Took a lunch break and I just flipped the piece. And as you can tell, we had drippage from when it was upside down. So, I was thinking about doing dark and decrepit on the top for more of a wood color. But I think I'm going to go with this. I think it's a sign. But we're going to put the wash on, even more diluted. Try to get a stain for it. Let's see how it goes. To purchase any of the products that you're seeing me use here today, you can shop my online store at shoptheturnedleg.com or if you're local, you can visit my booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan. The top of this drawer needs a little extra love, so usually I like to leave the drawers and maybe just coat them with dark and decrepit, show off the wood. But we've got raised grain or raised veneer here. So we need to sand it down. We'll see. When we sand it down, we'll see what we got. Maybe we can still put a wood color. It would be really pretty with the black wash frame. So let's sand and see what we get. The drawers turned out better than expected, so I think I'm just going to coat them with DIY Dark and Decrepit. Although I like the finish of this, I would like a little bit more wood tone, so I'm going to add dark and decrepit over the top. I really like the look of it now. Now we've got that brown wood tone with the black wash, but in reverse in this case. Time to seal. I'll be sealing the top and the drawers with DIY paint Big Top. It is a great durable finish and non-yellowing. Next I turned my attention to the hardware on the piece. I did a little bit of cleaning with Barkeeper's Friend and I noticed some of the hardware had gold underneath and some had silver. That was not going to do. So I grabbed my Golden Rule Gilding Wax from DIY Paint and applied it. The gilding wax will dry hard, so no need to top coat.
I still need to seal the rest of this piece and for that I'm using DIY clear wax. For more information on how to use clear wax you can click on the video and the link above. We're going to take a look at the finished nightstand in just a second and you can see how the black wash turned out. I really love this finish right now and I've been using it on all things. I hope this has inspired you to try a new paint finish. Let me know if you do try the black wash, how it turns out in the comments below, or if you have a favorite paint finish, drop it below to let us all know. Thanks so much for watching. Now get out there to salvage, repurpose, and create. Mm -hmm.